Hey everyone, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to import a terrain file into OpenBridge Modeler and apply the proper feature definition to that terrain. I'm also going to talk about how I like to clip that terrain file to make it a little bit more manageable. So just like my alignment file, I like to keep my terrain file separate from my main OBM model. So the first thing I want to do is to create a new file. And I like to give it a good description as well as put the date I pulled the terrain into the file just in case it changes after the fact. Now once you're in OBM and you've created that new file, you're just going to want to go to the OpenBridge Modeler workflow, go to Import, and Terrain. From there, you just want to go ahead and select your survey file, hit Add. In this case, I have a tin file of the surface. Hit OK. And then you're going to get an Import Terrain and Dialog here. So this is going to be where you want to set your feature definition for whatever type of terrain or survey it is that you're bringing in. In my case here, this is just an existing ground survey, so I'm going to go to Terrain, Existing, and Existing Triangles. And then hit Import. And then it doesn't look like it did anything, but it is, it is complete. It did finish in the background here. You can't see it because the space that I've entered into MicroStation is different than the space that the terrain actually exists. So you just close out of this terrain and hit fit view and then now you're going to see your terrain. Now this terrain model like most others is much larger than I really need. You know my bridge really only sits on a tiny portion of this terrain because this is, this is the terrain of the overall job which is much greater than the bridge area. So what you're going to want to do is trim down this terrain file to only the area that we care about. I like to do this because it helps keep your file size down and it helps you find your bridge quicker when you're doing a zoom extents. I like clipping my terrain the same time I clip all my other reference files with a clip shape file that I create later on. And I'll usually wait to do this until after I created my, my peer lines or my support lines just so I have a better handle of what my area of interest is. So I won't show that here, but I'll show that in, in the next video once I create my peer lines. But just keep in mind that you're going to want to trim this terrain file down to something a little bit more manageable in the end. And that's it. We've successfully imported our terrain file and are ready to start modeling our bridge. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please help the channel by hitting that subscribe button you see on your screen now. Give the video a like and share it with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.